In its report, the Guam Department of Public Works advises the District Court of Guam that the removal of the endangered Partula snails will cause the Ilig Bay Bridge project to be delayed by an estimated six to eight months. DPW says that they have been advised by the Department of Agriculture that the preferred action for mitigating the loss of the colony's habitat is relocation and that it is impossible to complete the bridge design phase and begin construction until the colony of endangered snails has been relocated. Acting Highway Administrator Ken Blas telling PNC News that there are an estimated 300 to 500 snails at the site and it's not a simple matter of bagging them up and moving them across the street. A suitable and similar habitat must be found, he says. Rebuilding the Illig Bay Bridge is one of the required consent decree projects because the bridge lies along the route to the Lazone landfill and must be strong enough to handle the load from the heavy garbage trucks that will pass over it. However, Blas says that even though construction on the bridge might be delayed by up to eight months, that should not affect the opening of the landfill itself, which is slated to begin operation by February of 2011. Blas says that the plan calls for keeping at least one lane open for traffic throughout the construction phase so that there will be a safe passage for the garbage trucks and all other vehicles during the mitigation and the rebuilding process of the bridge. The snail report, along with the updates from the Federal Receiver GBB and GIPA's report on GBB's permit compliance, will all be discussed tomorrow morning at the quarterly status hearing in Guam's District Court. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.